All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out here to talk about some NFL news. Uh, a few minutes before the college football uh, slate starts, so just wanted to get a quick NBA news. I just uploaded a five-minute one. There's a little few things, but not too much. But there's some stuff I want to talk about for the NFL. So uh, the rare video um, has resurfaced. Talk about some NFL stuff now. Uh, between Deion Sanders, Skip Bayless, and Pam Oliver from the '90s, yes. Where Dion attacked Bayless over claims that his then teammate quarterback Troy Aikman is allegedly gay. So you can find this video on Dolph Clemens' Twitter. And here's a little bit of what went on. Um, Dion basically was asking, Where do you get off saying one of my teammates is a homosexual? Where are your facts? How, do you know how detrimental that is to a guy like Troy Aikman? Dion, I'm not gay, but Troy's a good-looking guy. I'm sure he can get anyone he wants. This was back in the 90s. And Pat, Pam Oliver was basically saying, Journalism 101, you don't print rumors. Skip was mentioned like, Oh, it was uh, five pages of the 300-page book, some about rumors, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, it's kind of Journalism 101. You don't print out rumors like that. You can't do that if you're a, ju a journalist. And Dion basically, after that, said, when when you go to the Cowboys now, when you visit, do you feel friction? So a, a lot of my teammates don't like you. So I bet, so apparently in the 90s, probably a bunch of people, or uh, Dion's teammates of the Cowboys, probably, probably didn't like uh, Skip Bayless. Because he was basically making claims that Troy Ant was allegedly gay. So I could see why a lot of Teammates from uh, don't like them. Skip's been taking L since the nineties, apparently. Just some out of pocket stuff from Skip Bayless. Man, it's just awful. And I don't even know how people find this fucking rare video surfaced. I'm, I'm not surprised to see it Bayless. He, he always does something, man. So, I want to talk about... Um, Jim Harbar. Jim Harbar. So, apparently, they were working a, on a, quote, massive uh, contract extension with Michigan that would have made him the highest uh, paid coach in the Big Ten prior to the signing deal and cheating allegations. Baltimore Ravens legendary coach Jim Harbaugh per by Austin Meek the hope was to reach the finish line by negotiations by the end of the month those talks will now be put on hold so if you didn't if you don't want to talk about um, the NCAA was investigating a uh, former uh, Ravens coach Jim Harbaugh uh, amid allegations of sign stealing Michigan allegedly sent individuals to attend opponents' games, get information on the signs they used for play calls during games and stuff. So apparently they were working on a massive contract extension prior to that, which would have made him the highest paid coach in the Big Ten. But now those talks are definitely going to be put on hold. And will Jim Harbaugh come back next year uh, with Michigan? I don't know. I feel like this really drives a wrench into Michigan's plans if they want to bring back Jim Harbaugh for next year. But we'll see. I mean, a lot of people thought he was going to leave last offseason. He stayed this this season, but this is a different thing with the, the cheating, or the che alleged cheating Michigan's doing right now. So, a matchup to watch on week seven. Um, the Lions' fourth ranked points per game offense versus the Ravens' fourth ranked points per game defense, strength versus strength. They're both a total, uh, they're both at fourth. And points per game lines offense and Ravens defense total QBR. The Lions offense at three, the Ravens defense at two. Rushing touchdowns, Raven defense is tied first, and Lions offense tied third. It's gonna be such a good coach. It's gonna be such a good matchup. Well coached, a lot of talent, unique schemes from both these teams. This is gonna be the game of the week. This really should have been the prime time game, if I'll be honest. Say so it's at one p.m., but I don't mind that. It's a good one p.m. game because it's probably the best one on the schedule for this week. And another matchup to watch is Rams Matthew Stafford versus um, Steelers pass rush. When pressured Stafford this season, he's been struggling. Pittsburgh has the sixth highest pressure rate in the NFL, 33%. QBR 29th in the NFL. Completion percentage 31st in the NFL. And yards per attempt 28th in the NFL via ESPN. 
I mean, the Rams will have all their old line starters back, I think, but maybe the Steelers can still get a lot of pressure on the quarterback. So, per your report, Rams wide receiver Marcus Robinson was robbed at gunpoint of over $100,000 worth of jewelry in LA on Friday morning per TMZ. Two men apparently approached Robinson, pointed their guns at him, and forced him to give away his belongings. Thankfully, it appears he's okay. I know people will be like, Ooh, maybe don't walk on with a bunch of, ooh, ex uh, expensive jewelry. Yeah, let's, let, you know, the idiots will blame him and not the criminals. And, and so, I don't know why people care. Ooh, how, I don't know why people care how people spend their money. Like, it's how people spend their money. <laughs> so, um... Coach Prime, Deion Sanders, a four-star quarterback, Antoine Hill Jr. is committed to Deion Sanders, Colorado, via ASPN's Tom VH. For an update, the 6'5", 250-pound Hill is a 49th, 49th overall pros prospect overall in the 2025 class and the number four quarterback. He had offers from Georgia, Alabama, Clemson, LSU, Florida State, and others. So, yeah, uh, he's got a quarterback for next year. So, that's... So that's good for Colorado. Uh, update. Hashtag Steelers place starting tight end Pat Fryermy with an injured reserve. And they have activated wide receiver Deontay Johnson from injured reserve. So pretty. So it sucks that Pat Fryermy is now an injured reserve. But at least they're getting Deontay Johnson back uh, from the injured, from, uh, injured uh, reserve. Uh, Colts have weighed veteran wide receiver Amari Rogers and claimed ex rookies, ex Patriots rookie cornerback Amir Speed off waivers. Speed. Speed. Um. Yeah, and that's all from Dolph Claim and all the NFL stuff I want to talk about. I just want to do a quick NBA news and upload down a quick NFL news just um, so I can focus on the college football. I'll recap Ohio State, Penn State, um, Alabama, Tennessee. And probably USC and Utah tonight, the three college games I wanted to recap. But yeah, it's all the same to next week. Peace.